What's going on, YouTube? Mazaku is here. Stop fucking calling me! Mazaku is here today to give you, once again, what I believe I've done a couple days before my sophomore year of high school. I'm a junior now, get ready to go to senior this upcoming September. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, today I'm here to give you guys my top five worst Naruto characters once again. Ooh, put on your seatbelts. Number five. Now, I can almost guarantee you he won't be in anybody else's top five list for worst Naruto character selection. But to me, oh hell yes he is. Hago fucking Romo Atsusuki. Seriously. This guy proclaimed fucking God, let a tablet that he made himself be manipulated by a fucking slime to start a thousand year fucking war. And then while doing that, out of the ancestors that like his sons chose, chose to give uh, the Sage one more power. Each fucking time and kept creating a, an even bigger war. I don't understand that. People say, oh, it's just a mistake. A mistake? When you do it the first time, but she did with the son, that was a mistake. When it happened again, he with the uh, whole incarnation bullshit, he kept giving the Senju side more power. That should have probably fucking told you something. Seriously, this guy is honestly one of the worst fucking characters. And each time in the war, they were talking about something serious or were now to Sasuke fighting. So this guy wanted to bring up love. Shut the fuck up. You told us. You told us this story a thousand fucking times. I'm pretty sure we don't, nobody fucking cares anymore. Shut the fuck up. Seriously, like, he went from this guy to just some annoying ass old man. I fucking hate him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Number four. <sighs> now, this character, um, before watching King of Lightning's, you know what sucks video, I honestly thought he was okay, but the whole. You know, Susano thing already fucked up his character for me. But I wasn't going to rent on him. I was going to be nice. But if you look at it, Kakashi. Always favorite fucking Sasuke. But in the beginning, you preach about teamwork when you're not doing it your fucking self. You're favoring one person. All, all of them could learn the fucking Shidori for all that shit. Sakura had the best chakra control. Naruto's fucking Naruto. He's Jesus. He's God. He. he Anything Sasuke can do, probably Naruto can do, besides any, you know, of course, Uchiha brand name techniques. Him doing that all the way up to fucking Susano. With just a manga kill Sharingan, and Boro powered at that, and not an Uchiha, you achieve a due to that Itachi himself, one of the freaking strongest of the Uchiha, is Uchiha born, has a manga kill Sharingan, and when he went to your little Abu, Abu fucking corporation, he was already better than you as a fucking 8 to 11 year old fucking kid. And you're telling me you were Chief of Susano and he couldn't. I think this is bad story writing by Kishimoto all in one. That, that's just fucking stupid. Stupid. He's a f fucking terrible character. The fact that he became Hokage is beyond fucking me. He's fucking shitty. You seen the if you had seen the last movie, he was just as useless as Tsunade was during the pain arc. Let's bring me to number three. Tsunade sent you. Okay, in the beginning, when we when we were first introduced to this character, she was just a drunken bitch that fucking liked to gamble and lose. That's it. So as she whoops Naruto's ass with one fucking finger, she uh, teams up with Jiraiya to fight the It Turns out. Hey, look, she's scared of blood, la, la, that was a little ass phobia. She got her ass kicked by fucking cop pre Orochimaru <laughs> Kabuto. And that was that. She came back eventually, and they did a whole little jump in Orochimaru, who had no juice in his hand. They just barely won. So, after that happened, she becomes Okage. Now, why she becomes Okage? Sasuke leaves the village. Now, me, 
Somebody leaves my village and they know shit about my village? No, fuck it. Go kill him. Kill him. Don't bring that motherfucker back. Kill him. But I'll allow the first tr the first uh, thing to go. Because, hey, Naruto's feeling all fucked that. They were just trying to go get him. Once they could not bring Sasuke back, it should have been a hit out on his fucking head. That's it. You got to kill him. He has our fucking secrets. And now he's with you, Orochimaru. You have to find this man. You have to kill him. Period. Bar none. Oh, no, I wouldn't do that because the little 12, 13-year-old boy loves him. That's his fucking boyfriend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this go. And then, three years later, the guy, what, kills multiple Cloud Ninja, still plotting on fucking destroying your village. He could have killed. He could have killed everybody as soon as he got to the scene during the war if he wanted to. Besides Naruto, he could have went there, beat the living shit out of everybody besides, of course, Obito, Maduro, and Naruto. He could have done that. He could have done that. But... He decided, that's, you know, he already went there with a vendetta of eventually killing Naruto, but it's during the, their last fight when he realized, okay, you know what, fuck this. So he was already evil, but she let this man go. She let him go. I don't get that. On top of that, during the pain arc, not only do you let this man walk in your house, he walks in your house, whoops your ass, leaves your house, destroys your village. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? No. No. Fucking shitty character. F fucker. Fucker. Period. Number two. <laughs> ah, she's by she should have been number one, but due to her feats in the last movie. I let her sit at number two, but she still is a fucking shitty character, and her name is Sakura fucking Haruno. Okay. Ah! So, this bitch, okay, beginning of this series, decides that she loves Sasuke. Now, mind you guys, Sasuke is not one of those characters that show his feelings. He is not one of those dudes. Never opened up to Sakura once, barely said more than a few words to her, and she loves him. Not because of his personality, because he didn't give her any to fucking think about. Not because of his feelings, because he didn't show any in front of her. But this. This is her love for fucking Sasuke. A face that looks nice. That's it. So, with this love for Sasuke, when he leaves the village to become a rogue, a rogue ninja, she wants to come with him. Which means she chose this over the secrecy of her village. That already right there determined her as a shitty character. Even beforehand, her little love dance for Sasuke in the first part of Naruto through the majority of the fucking uh, manga and show was annoying in itself. No, she rather go with him than stay in her own village. She was about to betray her own village for a face. That's number one. So when he's gone, this bitch got the fucking nerve to cry to Naruto to bring him back. Alright, that was... Honestly, the worst scene in Naruto history when uh, I swear to God, I just wanted to kick my fucking TV in when I seen that bullshit. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Fuck this bitch. Fuck her. Fuck her. So they go outside against Sasuke. Nope, he gets his ass kicked. And started her worrying about, oh, why did Sasuke do this to Naruto? Oh, it's okay, Naruto. I'm still with Sasuke. What the fuck, bitch? What the fuck? I swear to fucking God. Oh, shit, I don't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, basically, after this, we get Naruto Shippuden, or just continue Naruto manga, to the time skip. So, we get a huge, and I mean huge, Character development from Sakura, where her and Tio teamed up to beat, Sa well, Sasori let them beat him, but to defeat Sasori of the Red Sand. So after this, I'm like, yes, Sakura's going to get pushed. Doesn't happen. 
that's what happened. I remember one episode when they went to try to retrieve Sasuke once more, even though he should have already been dead. But they tried to do it once more. Once more. Let's try it fucking again. You can pick it up and try again. They, they try again. Okay? So, after Naruto fights Orochimaru, okay? Orochimaru kind of escapes through the last hole or little hideout. They're about to go inside the hideout. Yamato, aka Tenzo, hands both Naruto and Sakura a seed to I guess swallow so he can track them. For 10 fucking minutes of the episode, Sakura is looking at the seed like this. 10 minutes! And then, you know what she says at that? No, look, this is, this, this is what she fucking says. This is a seed. No fucking shit, this is a seed! Just fucking swallow it! Damn! And this when this shit was on weekly, you, oh, I was so fucking pissed. Fuck that. But, to more important matters, after that happens, right? So, we basically get all this Naruto character, blah, 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 bullshit, Naruto, blah, 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 pain arc. All the way to the pain arc. Now, after Naruto defeats pain, he punches him in the fucking stomach. That was just stupid to me. I don't give a fuck. Is that early? Oh, they do that in Japan? They hit him? I don't, I don't give a fuck. This motherfucker just got done saving my ass. I'm not going to put my hands on the motherfucker. Not because he's in my ass. But if he was strong enough to beat that motherfucker, I don't want him to Goku me to slap. You see him when he threw TT in the air? Or just say, oh, thank you. And smack the shit out of her she fucking flew across the ocean. That would probably be a main reason not to punch the motherfucker. Because out of reflex, this motherfucker's got a, out of a death battle. He might just slap your dumb ass back. Just saying. So we get into the war, right? Now, Sakura. I'm sorry I'm taking so long with number two, but oh well. Sakura proclaims herself to be as strong as pre power up Naruto and Sasuke. And that same chapter. Has to get saved twice by each of them. Oh yeah. Let me take you beforehand when uh her, Rock Lee, and I think Kiba and Shino uh went on a mission to do something, but Sakura poisoned the poisoned the motherfuckers, right? Poisoned her teammates. That should automate that should be immediate execution at that. You poison your teammates to go try to kill Sasuke, but then you realize, uh, excuse me, then you realize, oh no, I still love him. From what? He did nothing. He tried to kill you. Oh, oh wait, it's the face. Hey, look at Sasuke's face. Uh, bitch, like, you almost got your whole team killed by doing that. Seriously, I swear. Fuck her, fuck her. So... Basically, after the whole Naruto series in its entirety is over, we get an epilogue. <laughs> fuck, fuck that blow. Let's talk about chapter 699 when Sakura wants to get one to go with Sasuke out of the village. Man. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> this is just bullshit, yo, seriously. But. 700. Sakura has a child named Sawara Uchiha. Okay. So, this man, let me get this straight. This man tried to kill you three times. Put you in the Genji to where he did kill you. Never, like, never acknowledged you. Fucking hated you. Thought you were annoying. Didn't give you the time of day. And you still let this man put his penis inside of you? Are you fucking. This can't just be me. Because this seems so much like Chris Brown and Rihanna. All over. And Sakura, no, no, and Karin sees Karuchi. That's, that's what it seems like to me. Because this guy has done everything to show you that he does not give a single fuck. And the guy's not even at home. I'm not going to say he's a bad father. He could just be out on a stroll. He could just be out on a stroll. But unless we check, as far as we know, <laughs> this guy's still searching the world. And so he just came, smacked your walls up, and left. And you let him. Because now you're a mother. Probably a single mother at that. Taking care of your daughter by your fucking self. Sasuke wanted to be a black dad so bad. 
That was a stupid thing to say. I'm sorry. But that's why Sakura's number two. Doing all of that, especially with the Sasuke thing, she has no self-respect for herself, not only as a character, but as a woman as well. That's just fucking out of line. Fuck her. Number one. For those who watch me, who watch Mazaku, know who number one is. O B to Uchiha. <sighs> okay, so Obito as a 13 year old was pretty cool. This little ass kid, you know, on a team similar to like Naruto Sasuke and all that bullshit. He likes a girl named Ring. Ring. He likes her. <clears throat> they both are the same age. All you know, everybody's the same age at this point. She likes Kakashi must like you know now so like Sakura, Sakura like uh fucking Sasuke. So that happens, right? Okay. After in school. Obito on a mission during the world war the world war comes across some ninja who does a rock I think it's called rock slide juice. Some some dumbass Pokemon form technique where rocks fall on you. And he gets crushed by a boulder. Now, let me say something. He survived, right? And when he fell down, Mother said it seems as if Obito slipped through. But if he slipped through, why is he injured in the first place? Because of the boulders, those tons, ton, boulders are tons. Boulders can weigh tons, people. Fell on the side of his face. It's have been instant death. And in the real, real world, in our reality, a guy was fighting on a ball. The ball knocked the guy off, and with the ball's backhand, fell on the guy's face, flattened the motherfucker. His head, blood, and skull is completely done. Done. Finished. This guy had tons of boulders falling on him, and he just seemingly slipped through. That was already the first pie hole. Now, a year after that, Minato Sokage, he's 14 years old. He goes to the village, responsible for Minato's death, freaking summons the nine tails. On top of that, he used the Camry when he got cussed by the borders before he even had Mega Gil Sharon got another fucking plot hole. I mean, this guy is a walking piece of fucking shit. Toby Beam Obito was honestly the biggest plot hole in Naruto history. Fuck him. Fuck him. He's a fucking corny ass character. He started a war over 13 year old pussy. Let that sink in. Obito started a. Ooh, now, people say, now, here's what I hate about you fucking anime community dickheads. You are so quick to suck on somebody else's or another reviewer's dick every fucking time. Like they're fucking God. Like, Sorry 7 Maze made a video. No, no, no disrespect to Sorry, Sorry my man. I'm not going to, like, that's his opinion. He said uh, Obito is the most realistic character. Okay. Now, when I said that we don't fucking suck, a bunch of motherfuckers came in saying, you the same because he's the most realistic character. I'm like, oh, so you're not thankful for your fucking self. You're following up on something that you obviously don't know what, like, what the fuck you're talking about. You're following up, you're just sucking his dick. Then you're trying to counter me without making a valid point. You're going to say some shit like that to me. Back it, back it up. Don't come to me with no bullshit. I said, that's your personal opinion, but when you start dick eating, it becomes bullshit in, in, in your matter. Don't do that to me. How is he realistic? Would you start a world fucking war if a girl from fucking 10 years ago didn't like you? And Obito's case is what? 16, no, it's 18 years ago. Because it's not until 17th birthday, it's the war. And it was a year before Minato, you know, Became Okage, well, before Minato was Okage and the whole Naruto attack happened. So, grown ass men that are watching this, would you want to show the world war because you can't fuck a girl that was in your life 18 years ago and she never even fucking liked you in the first place? Would you? Yeah, consider that fucking realistic. Fuck it, fuck Obito, fuck him. Are you fans of Obito? More power to you. I'm just telling you straight up, he's a fucking shitty character, and that's fact. 
Not my opinion. He's, uh, that's a fact. He's fu He fucking sucks. Period. A corny ass fucking villain. But, oh, hold on. Not to mention, now this is not on Obito's part, this is on Naruto's part. Whenever Naruto was thinking about heroes or people who did good things for him in life, in the war, why were Obito in the flashbacks? But I guess I can't really blame the characters. You gotta blame the writer, man. Because although, Masashi Kishimoto, I'm giving you your props, dog. You made a, a really good series. I mean, part three, I, part three of Not Told Me is from after the paint arc to the end of the series. I get that to the 2.5 out of 10. I fucking hated it. But <clears throat> Naruto, part two, from first episode of Shippuden to the end of paint arc, I get that a 10 out of 10. And I believe I gave Naruto a part one a 9 out of 10. I think average that out. Now, uh, let's see. Now. All right, let me go ahead and average this shit out. I'm sorry. I'm going to average this out so I can give you guys my final rating on Naruto. 9 plus 10 plus 2.5 equals 9. Plus 2.5 equals 21.5. 21.5 divided by 3. I gave Naruto series overall a 7.16666666667. Means it was okay. So, my Zaku here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Damn, 21 minutes. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Share on Google+. Thank you, guys. I'm out. You don't need me to ever write